Hello students, welcome to SVB family, welcome to English channel. Today we are going to deal with the grammar part and uh, this class is very very important. So we are, we are going to deal with the tenses. So totally we have 12 tenses, is it or not? So how we can divide the tenses? We can divide the tenses into present, past and then future. And we can subdivide the tenses into four parts that is simple, continuous, perfect, perfect continuous. Is it or not? So totally four into three, twelve tenses we have. Okay. So see in the textbook they have given the definition tenses of verbs are used to express time. They indicate the time and state of the action. The following pictographs will help you understand the tense forms better. So see how they have given, so they have, actually they have divided into two parts, one is specific time and then unspecific, unspecified time. So which is, the, which is considered as a specific time that is simple and then progressive. Progressive is nothing but the continuous tense. So we can say continuous or we can say progressive. Both are same. And then which is considered uh, as unspecified time, perfect, which is completed. Okay, so perfect is nothing but completed action. That is present perfect or past or future perfect. Okay, so all are perfect means completed. Okay, see here they have given the example. She worked, she works, she will work. So past, present and then future. And progressive, she was working at 9 a.m. this morning. She is working right now. See the key? Keyword right now. And then she will be working at 6 p.m. tonight. And perfect. When she retired, she had worked all her life. Okay? And then so far she has worked all her life. When she retires, she will have worked all her life. And then perfect progressive. When she retired, she had been working for 40 years. She has been working for 40 years. When she retires, she will have been working for 40 years. Okay. So this is what they have given in that textbook. I will show you in a better way so that you can understand the tenses forms. So this is the examples which they have given in the textbook. We can take a screenshot. Okay. And the, in easy method, I will show you. See here. So here I have given the examples which you can analyze and you can use it for better Thing. Is it or not? See here. So, first I will take simple present. Okay. So, simple present. So, here we should, uh, from lower class itself, you have, you would have followed that uh, uh, formulas. Uh, subject plus verb plus e plus. So, that you should not follow here. At first, when the question, when you happen to see the question paper at public examination, first you should find out this question is related to which tense. Is it or not? So, you should know the keywords first. So, if you know the keywords, you can easily analyze this tense is about past, this tense is about future, this tense is about perfect, perfect like that. So, here are all the keywords you can understand easily and you can answer your question. So, see, so simple present. So, if you have in your question habitual action, so see. I read the newspaper every day. So which one is the keyword here? Every day. So every day is related to habitual action. So habitual action comes under simple present. And then historical present. Here goes Latika into space. Like that. And then future expressed with the certainty. He arrives on the 7th. To indicate possession. For example, I have watch. He has a quartz watch like that and in proverbs. So, so just remind. So for simple present tense, we should have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 4, 5 categories you should keep in your mind. Okay, for habitual actions, 
for historical present for future expression is certain to indicate person and for proverbs and now you come to the pro i mean the formula so which is the formula for pre simple present subject verb verb and you should add verb with s or es and plus object now you see see the examples i subject read verb and the object and again here goes so verb plus es and again object and see he subject arrive verb we have added s or es on the so on the seventh is object so see the the subject is different the verb and then object so here now first you should analyze this question is come from which session then after that after um, putting an answer you can uh, uh, what to say you can consider it as with the formula okay i think you are clear enough and then now come to the simple past so simple past means what to refer to past actions so or we can say ordinary past action so wherever comes the ordinary past action you have to use the simple past tense and for conditional clause that is very very important you know very well about the conditional clause that is second conditional clause start with past end with past this would plus verb 1 so see here i wondered if i could borrow your bike okay and then in conditional clause Two. So see that uh, one more example. If I were a bird, I would fly. And then in reported speech, definitely in reported speech, we have to use only in past tense. And got it or not? So simple present, simple past. So simple present. Totally we have five, five subdivisions. and then simple past we have ordinary past action can for conditional clause and for reported speech got it or not and then simple future simple future we have to use for future time or events with certainty certainty that is very noted down certainty so i'll go to his house tomorrow so definitely i'll go to his house tomorrow so as a certain thing so there we use simple future and then to refer ordinary future action so ordinary future action definitely we use will so will go will begin now you see the formula for simple past subject verb past verb ed okay and then object and future subject will or shall plus object like that okay i think you got it now move to the continuous tense or we can say progressive that is very very important so there is a progress for example so how we can find out whether this question is related to present continuous this question is related to past continuous this question is related to future continuous and what are the keywords okay so see uh, to refer to an action in progress so underline that point to refer to an action in progress at the moment of speaking so simple i mean present continuous very very easy so at the moment of speaking so for example what i am doing now i am teaching before you and what you are doing you are listening to my classes so at the moment what the thing is going at i mean in front of your eyes what action is going in front of you so that is considered as present continuous okay see here so the moment of speaking and then with always to express anger or irritation and to refer to the future time is it or not see he is reading the newspaper he is always disturbing me when i am studying they are visiting the planetarium next week and you can uh, ask one doubt so already we have when here so when and while means we use only past continuous no as you are absolutely correct but so here with always so if the question start with always you have to use only simple i mean sorry present continuous tense oh say okay so if the question is not with always definitely you have the keyword when so you can use the past continuous okay and then see here past continuous to refer to an action in progress in the past 
okay so first what we said to refer an action in the progress at the moment of speaking but for past for uh, an action in progress in the past for example he was surfing the net when i was talking to you so there definitely we should have the uh, keywords that is when while like that see here uh, we was watching cricket when i phoned him so to refer an action which started before the action in the simple past and the keyword is when and future continuous to refer an action as going on sometime in future they will be coming to my house next sunday so here they will be coming to my house next sunday that means what that action as going on sometime in the future so we are using will be coming got it or not and then perfect tense so what i told you perfect means completed that's all for example you are asking sir where is he just now he has gone that means what he has gone the thing is completed so there we use perfect tense okay so see here to refer an action just completed for just completed action we use present perfect he has bought a telescope and to refer the past action recollected at the present time so i have visited all the tourist spots spots in tamil nadu that means you already have visited but you have recollected the thing in the present mood is it or not so that is already completed but you are telling that so we are we can say i have visited all the tourist spots in tamil nadu and then to refer the past actions or events whose results are seen in the present for example it has rained here that means what uh you just in the morning you just opened your window and you are seeing that it has rained all through the night so the thing the results you can see in, in the present time okay and then past perfect so how sir we can analyze the past perfect it's very very easy if in the question you have two past action you can consider it as past perfect and what is the keyword before after so this is the keyword for past perfect see here to refer to the earlier of two past action when he switched on the computer the power had failed okay the power had failed so two past action so two past action mean definitely we should have past perfect so past and then future perfect to refer to an activity or state extending up to a definite point in the future they will have settled the problem next week so they, uh, they will have settled the problem next week means what so by next week definitely they should um, they should close that okay they should close the problem so that's what we are using here future perfect tense okay so present perfect past perfect future perfect all are completed action present perfect we can say just a completed action action recollected in the present time and then uh, the thing which uh, i mean the past actions or events whose results are seen in the present and past perfect very very easy if you have two past actions there and the keyword after before you can easily convert it as past perfect and future perfect that means what Ex the an activity or state extending up to a definite point in the future and then present perfect oh, sorry uh, future perfect that means um, to refer to activity or state extending up to a definite point in the future they will have settled the problem next week got it or not okay and now last we have perfect continuous so what is the difference between continuous and perfect continuous continuous things means what now the thing is continuing is it or not so a perfect continuous means already the progress started but still it continues so we consider as a present perfect continuous so i have been reading the max class for two hours so when you have started before the two hours okay but now but i mean but still you are seeing the max class so for the past two hours so this is the keyword for since like that for perfect continuous for present perfect continuous 
and past perfect continuous see here to refer an activity limited duration in the distant past for example last year he had been pasturing his father for a full week to give his share of the property and for future perfect continuous by plus time so how we can analyze the future perfect and the future perfect continuous means future perfect or future perfect easily we can identify by by plus time so definitely you should have the time over here so we can easily see here by plus time so next month by now i will have been traveling to north india so by plus time so you, you, there you have by plus time you easily you can convert as a future perfect suppose you have the by plus time plus, plus continuity you can consider it as future perfect continuous next month by now i will have been traveling to north india got it or not and now after uh, so here in higher secondary first you have to analyze what is what and you have to um, find out the answer then after putting the answer you have to apply the formula so perfect tense already you know that uh, have or has and perfect country is have or has been in country sense you have use only ing formation okay got it or not and see this is the book back exercises see here fill in the blanks with correct form of the verb in brackets and read the completed passage aloud so the people of india as a whole are warm hearted and hospitable so present and here comedy in any part of the world immediately arouses the instinct of charity and generosity and their committee is promptly set up to collect funds to help the distressed the most enduring quality in them is the respect they show for the work done in any capacity they believe in what we call the dignity of labor so here they have used only present and see here i dash to spend time with my friend whenever i dash free so consider it as simple tense is it or not i mean present tense so i would like to spend time with my friend whenever i am free so whenever you will be free you will spend the time so habitual so where we use habitual in simple present i told you no and then see here he is likely to miss the train he runs up to the station and then see at the moment i, I told you no so Uh, at the moment of speaking so what the thing is happening before your eyes at the moment so you will consider it as present continuous so see at the moment is a keyword so definitely we use present continuous at the moment they are waiting at the bus stop i do not know their plans of their journey and then they firmly believe in the existence of god we hear more noise because the homes and apartments transmit sound vacant present and then she always i told you know so if the thing is comes uh, always so what you have to do present continuous but here see she always makes excuses for late coming so this is a habitual so here you should not consider as a present continuous okay so always definitely the thing if comes and uh, i mean in the sentence if you have always means you can consider this as a present continuous but here she talks about the habitual so habitual is only related to present simple present not present continuous okay got it on so there we use she always makes excuses for late coming so always in the sense here habitual okay and then see here the prime minister dash for america to meet the delegate tomorrow so here you can three sort of answer he is leaving will leave will be leaving all the three answers are correct okay and then see here so here we use simple present and present continuous tenses okay so simple present means so here is about are john and then see the runners are warming up continuous now they are talking they are all ready for the start and then there goes the there goes the starters gun yes the race has begun john is leading and jiva following him closely okay and then 
read the exact from Kyle's diary entry regarding the Nepal trek. Okay, and fill in the blanks with correct tense form of the verbs given brackets. So see, so here what they have given correct tense form. So we have to find it. So there they have given present and then present, uh, I mean there they have given simple present and present continuous. But here we have to find out whether this comes under which category. We dash Anna International Airport in Chennai two days ago. So definitely already past action. So we have to put here past tense. So left. And then we dash a day sightseeing. So past, ordinary past action. Spent. And um, Kathmandu is full of people, uh, rickshaws and uh, the smell of sandalwood. I have never dash on a trip like this before. So been. So passive form. So passive form. Okay, been. So past. I have never been on a trip like this before. And then see here, when. So I told you, you know, when and while means we have to use only past continuous. So it was raining when we reached Pokhara, Nepal's second largest city, and saw uh, showy peaks of the Himalayas for the first time. We reached Pokhara after hairstring six hours bus journey along near roads with a lot of hairpin bins. The bus was. So full that one person had to share the driver's seat. Okay, and day three. Again, past began and then pitched here. So last, at last. So past, so began. So here, uh, I am thrilled. So past, I am thrilled that we pitched tents for our camps in the dense forest. And see here, yesterday the landslide blocked our path. Yesterday means what? Past, habitual. So past, ordinary past action means we have to use only past, simple past. So blocked. And here see, yaks dash not dangerous. But you have to careful if you meet the heart of them because they can push you off the sides of the mountain. So present. So you are. Yaks are not dangerous. And then see here, we met a lot of children on our trek through the villages. They were playing in the pool of muddy rains water as we left the place so when they left what they were doing so past country so we are playing and here up here it never rains present there are no trees it is windy and dusty i am always thirsty and then past yesterday past auction uh, ordinary past action went and again uh, left ordinary past action again felt we felt that we could go any further and then we drank a lot of extra so all considered fast and here flying okay so the oxygen filled our blood again and we seem to be flying if you can you can use be flying that is a is a opt answer for that or you can write simply flying and then see was exciting we went back to Pokhara in small plane yesterday. It was exciting. When we flew between the mountain peaks, we arrived in Kathmandu this afternoon and we spent our last few hours. So, past, continuous and then past. So, see there the keyword is when. So, was exciting. And here the keyword is our last few hours in shopping. So, past. So, spent. Okay. And see, unless one is upright. So, so here they asked us to use the simple past. So here we have used realized. So see, uh, there are the great truths of modern life which Sham never realized. She never said an ill-natured word in his life, was always polite and spoke softly to everybody. That night they strolled into the parrot club and found finished, he said, finished, framed, answered. So all comes under past tense because they asked us to use only past form. So we have to use only past form. So devoted, had to, are. And here you see, who are who you are, where you live. So here you have to write only are. Okay. And then see here. And now tell me how Laura is. Here they have used present. And then the old model was quite interested past. And talked. And I did past. He knows all about the residence colonel. And you told, cried, shall. 
and then go what it or not and see here past tense i dash never such a beautiful sunrise before i told you no if we have the uh, keyword before after you have to uh, follow only the perfect tense is it or not so had seen where we use before after in the keyword perfect past perfect so past perfect means had plus v3 is it or not so we are using had seen see saw seen v3 and see here we were not able to stay overnight as we had not reserved had plus v3 in advance and then nirmala had been to the concert several times and then uh, mariyappan knew pudukote so well because he had lived there for 5 years had lived okay and then yusuf understood the problem because he had experienced the situation earlier and then catherine did not have any cash because she had lost her purse my father had been to mumbai once before so see before after underline that and then uh, the cat had chased the bird before it flew out of the yard so two past action again had plus p3 and edith had visited several doctors before she found out what the problem was and if we had called the manager ahead we would not never need to wait so long for table and as the shops were closed we could not buy anything for the children and then see here simple past form the as is to so romped started had lost rose played had scored one had decided had given so past and the past perfect they have used here according to the situation okay so why they have used had scored so here one thing is past so and the thing definitely past perfect is it or not for example see here sunil ramesh rose to the occasion as he played a great knock to help india beat pakistan and had scored the 93 runs is it or not and earlier india won the toss had decided to bowl first past past perfect got it and then assumed had given capitalized like that and then see here i was cutting past continuous fascinated past stood past sang the girl sang a sad song past and see here during the monsoon the tender slightly warm breeze i was blowing past continuous rose past seemed past fell past was chirping past continuous so why we are using a sweet voice bird somewhere dash trip repeatedly so repeatedly in the sense continuity is it or not so we have used was chirping okay hope you have understand you just take a screenshot already i think you have material with you in your hand if not you just take your textbook and uh, write all sort of answers in your textbook and your in in your grammar note okay take a screenshot so these are all the answers you can take screenshot and you can write it in the grammar put today's date and write it in the grammar note okay uh, hope you have understand the tenses very clearly you just uh, see all sort of examples and the definitions which i have given to, with examples and you just work out it okay got it or not okay i'll catch you in the next video presented by n ramesh kumar hod department of english shivadi bharti metric higher secondary school sakrambadi